Well, good morning, good morning, world. It is a beautiful sunny day today. Who are you? Why don't you come back? Ship up, Eddie. We're back here at Novak. As you can see by the giant dinosaur. And I guess we should, um, yeah, check out the town. Hey, Victor. Guess we should do as Victor say and get a check into the hotel. Motel. What's this? Oh. What's this bitch? Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. That's kind of a nice place. We really haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. Hmm, trouble seems to find me. What is this place anyway? We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. Hmm, wonder how we got his name. Uh, looking for a man in a checkered coat. Has he passed around here? Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper, up in the dinosaur's mouth. <laughs> Manny, eh? There we go. Manny Burgers. What's been going on in town? Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. They've been a blessing. So you mean Brahma's just evaporating in the sun? Mm -hmm. Let me get some supplies. Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bite gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. Sounds like he has some shades. What's of interest around here? Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. Mm -hmm. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Anything else? Well, up north the ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Mm -hmm. Used to be a power plant in its day. And power. there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. Hmm. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. Yeah, one slaver against the platoon. That should work. Ah, goodbye. Watch out for strangers. Like you. And you should watch out for me. Check out the rooms, huh? Sun going down? We're coming up. It's coming up. Good, good, good. It's daytime. Uh huh. Need a key. Ah. Uh, there we go. Hello. Can I rob you? Oh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait, you... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Maybe. Uh, nah. Nah, I don't. What makes you think that? 
Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Oh, yeah. I know. So why would this Mr. Bishop be after you? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. Mm hmm Do you rob the casino boss, eh? Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Yeah, right. Also, I might have uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. Was she hot? I'll take some balls, buddy. Thanks. But if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. Oh, yeah. They are. Well, good luck with that, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. See you later. Nothing. Damn it. I need to stock up on stim packs. Mm, what's this? Nothing. Junk. Well, this is someone's room. But someone is not here. First aid. Stim packs, stim packs, stim packs. Ah, for it. Anyway. Prim wimped out and accepted NCR rule. Some people will do anything to feel safe. The NCR aren't bad. Booms. Unlocked many barbers. Nice. He was the daytime guy, right? So he should be up there. I can rob him blind. That was bad. That's not bad. Nice. What's this? Mm -hmm. Alright. Still can talk to him though. Who are you? Prim wimped out and accepted NCR rule. Some people will do it. Hello, hello, hello. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Hey, Andy. What do you do here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Sounds fun. What the hell? Uh, okay. Tell myself I'm doing some good. Okay. He got mute all of a sudden. Uh, did you do something to your leg? Yeah. Twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. Mm, so what did you do? I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Mm -hmm. Well, your body's injured, not your mind. You're kidding yourself if you think you're useless. It's a lot of experience. Huh. People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. 
can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. Oh. Yay. I'm never gonna use this. Like, ever. That's anyway. You'll get the hang of that takedown. I had trouble learning it at first, too. You're with the NCR, right? Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Hmm. Station full of rangers uh, ought to be able to handle himself. Shouldn't worry so much. Yeah, who am I kidding? It's funny, you get stuck in your room for a few weeks, and you start to worry the world's gonna fall apart without you. Those guys are fine. They don't need me looking over their shoulders. Hey, tell me about the Rangers, then. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. I'm gonna take that. Take that. Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. All right. I'll check on you later. What do we have here? <laughs> Steal it from a cripple old man. Hmm. Oh, the shop keeps. Right. Donkeys. Ooh. Oh, wow. That is better than my Vermin rifle. It's not a scope for it. See if I can sell his own possession back to him. Turn off the radio. There we go. But don't hide. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. I do want some of those. Uh, Genie Mitt. Mm, what do you sell there? Well, there's T Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. What about supplies and guns? Do you have some of that? Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Maybe I'll buy one. Sure, let me see. Sure thing. Have a look. What you got, boy? Oh, bloody hell, that's expensive. Yikes. That guy. All right, let's see if I can get the discount Jeannie May sent me. Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine, and my friends get a discount at my store. Sounds good. Sure thing. Have a look. Ooh. That's, that's, uh, that's a good discount, yeah. Nice. That gun. Oh, replacement for my 10 mil, maybe? Stim packs. Not a bad price. The discount is good. Can tell 
Oh. Not found the katana yet. Come back soon. It was early in the morning when he rode into the town. He came right hey, Manny. The What's going on, man? All I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a <laughs> rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50 50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's boom. Boom. What do you protect the town? Except for the demons and monsters in this desert? You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far we've been lucky. I think one rifle's gonna help them. So just boom. Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but uh, we're not so friendly right now. Really? Why are you bad terms with Boone? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Hmm. Did you and Boone's wife argue about Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins. We were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang. I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted. Earned my future. Brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Hmm. What was your tour with the NCR like? Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? So, what did you leave? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. Yeah. Happened at British Springs. I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. Yeah. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Yeah, yeah, see ya. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that gun. I'm gonna put those back. How you doing? Yeah, man. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Yes, you can. Sure thing. Have a look. You know that gun? That one. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll trade you my 10 mil. Uh, hunting rifles are really sweet. Service rifles, a couple of those. Nothing else. Um, I got some gecko stuff. I don't want much. Whiskey bottle that you need. Night stuff you need. I'll keep it there. Yeah, Alright, this is fair. Baba. Come back soon now. Yeah, I probably will. Yeah, some other stuff that I want. Have a look at that gun. Yeah. 
Kind of fancy looking. Hope it's strong as I think it is. No oh, trade problem. People. The traders. Just a lonely trade problem. Ah, oh, here's the Brahmin farm. Just four. No, oh, a dead one. Alright, just three of them. Can't really call that a farm. Hello. <laughs> they can see me. Yep, they will. Ah, I'm not doing anything. Hey. Hey there. In from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. So what do you do here in Nova? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. Well. If you attend to your ranch, should you be out? I heard you've been losing some livestock. Losing Sorted don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Yeah. There's three of them left. What do you know about the attacks? Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. Mm -hmm. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. Really? Did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. Okay, west side around midnight. Let's see if I can catch whoever it is. We'd be grateful, especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Hmm. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. And someone's gonna be killed over this. So long. Alright, west side, midnight. West side, west side midnight. Ooh, nine pieces. He saw nothing. How about the gun case? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I forgot. Alright. West side, midnight. This is west, eh? Whoa, what the? Okay. What time is it now? 11.34. Hmm. If I remember, no bulk should be right up here. Oh, there it is. No bulk? No man? No man? Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. But. Gum. I don't have a gum. Who tried to make it talk? Confound it, Nobark. You've done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. All right, stranger, you got me. What do you want to know? I don't really think you know too much. Um, 
Something interesting happened in the area? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Mm -hmm. Ghosts, kame ghosts, who <laughs> don't know they're dead. Okay. Hoping to steal our rockets so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. <laughs> I've seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Well, you're definitely Although, not crazy. Being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a commie ghost and so forth. Right. A scientist, eh? Right, right, right. Why did I call you no bark, Mr. Scientist? Cause they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, cause it's the truth. Really? Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. And I know what I seen. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little more about what's been going on in town. There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Mm -hmm. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock <laughs> vampire, says Nobark. They don't pay no mind. Okay. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Bullets in the well, holes? Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. <laughs> and that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. <laughs> All uh, right, Chupacabra with the automatic weapon. Right, all right. What else do you know about the deaths? I come face to face with the Chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He is. He was the meanest, ugliest Chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and <laughs> fangs down to the ground. Really? Best I could tell, anyways, since when he come up to me, he was invisible. <laughs> Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot Ooh. bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing really? like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. Hmm. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. A rotating blunderbuss with a backpack. Sounds like something I can sell. If anyone asks, we never spoke. I wish we never had no bark. I feel like I'm going crazy. Still got a lot of hours until midnight. I believe there was supposed to be a junkyard. Just up the road. Guess I could do some exploring. Hey doctor. Kind of a doctor. Butcher. There we go. Nice little junkyard. Anything to test my new gun? Anything? No? Alright. Mm -hmm. Buffalo cords. Hey doggy. That's in trouble. Hey, doggy. Good boy. Old Lady Gibson. Hi there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Mm -hmm. Why did I call you old Lady Gibson? Well, I can, I can kind of guess. Well, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> they used to just call me Gibson. Yeah. I hope you can figure out the rest. I don't mind, to be honest. Living long is a real accomplishment these days remains to be seen if I end up dying peaceful in my bed. Mm. What do you have for sale, Lady Gibson? Happy to do it. Anything good? 
Wow, a lot of money. Girl, you're rich. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, someone to sell a lot of stuff for. I'll keep the submachine gun. And tell me about wreck gun? Sometimes it seems like I spent the better portion of my youth in that old wreck of a building. Me and my hubby, may the man rest in peace, used to scavenge there. <laughs> if it weren't bolted down, you can bet we took it and sold it. A lot of the scrap you see around here is from Repcon. Even my favorite chair. Guess that's why you're so rich. Goodbye. Take care now. Subject mm -hmm. E. Diagnosis complete. The hell? Begin recording. That's not my your name voice. Is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. Eddie, you can speak. Continue. I bought Duraframe Subject E as both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. Mm -hmm. Keep talking. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, no. give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Really? I don't want him to leave. So, you okay, Eddie? We're gonna have hey. to stop. Hmm? Yep. Hey. Oh. Enemies. Um. Uh, Let's see what I can steal from you, rich lady. Eddie, we can have to talk to it. God, okay. Ooh, bike. I'm gonna ride it. Shush. This one. Practically worthless. Hmm. Damn it. Thank you, old Lady Gibson. Can steal anything. Right, let's go take care of the chubby cover with the automatic weapon. With my new gun. Or maybe a shotgun. Automatic weapon with a backpack sounds really bad. If you can find a bed in one of these houses, and just get some rest until midnight. Oh, Out. hello. Hey, ladies. There we go. PMs. Ah. Don't. Alright, uh, seven hours? To me not. Feeling refreshed and really dead with a dent. Yeah, zip, 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 zip. Dirty water. Not tasty. Uh, st still thirsty. Damn it. Purify water. There we go. Some prickly pears. Pretty prickly pears on a perch. How fast is the time going? Uh, but 
he's there though. I can't see him. What? Is that you? You talking again, Eddie? Who's Who's talking? the bull. Voices say they knew that would happen. Horns would help the bull? Yeah, I can definitely see him. No, no. You're not gonna shoot them. Dude, stay away. St hey, okay, I'm warning you. I'm warning you again. I'm warning you with a gun. Nothing? No? Uh, okay, uh. Shop? Ah! No, stop! Shit, 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 shit! Ah, pretty boy. Shit, I need my shotgun. Yeah. Oh no, you don't. Back here. Yes. Oof. Well, that takes care of things. You're doing pretty boy. Mini. Oh, it's broken. Oh, of course it is. It screams of problem. Let's check that out. Now wait, where is uh, screams of problem? Okay. Well, I saved the ranch, I guess. Yeah, I killed the chup cover with the automatic weapon. Guys, I'm safe. Find anything? Yes. No one is going to attack your portal from now. Portal. I'm not sick. No one's gonna attack your ranch from now on, buddy. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Yeah, yeah. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. <laughs> Already we got did. more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Oh, 75. That's not... So long. Oh, well, that's nice. I can get more distance. I still want this. Well, I did good. Alright. Well, I got myself a rotating blunderbust. I guess next time. Go clean out some goods. It's night time, so I'm gonna find a bed in the I just rested. But, uh, and uh, I think me and you need to have a talk about what happened earlier. That was not your voice. You sound different, and it's not just in my head. So, everyone, have a good night.